Yeah, so I'm William Patino and I'm a landscape uh, travel photographer, I guess you could say. This segment is made possible by Illawarra Credit Union, your experts in everything banking. I run photography workshops and shoot photos for um, tourism clients around the world, basically. I didn't know anything about photography a few years ago and then um, happened to download Instagram before it was uh, what it is today, the big monster it is now. Um, just kind of stumbled across it. I had a few friends that uh, done like skate photography, so I thought one of them shared their photos on this Instagram app, so I downloaded it and I quickly realised it wasn't what I thought it was, um, but I kind of just went, ah, oh, looks all right anyway. So I just started taking photos with the iPhone, um, you know, just in the backyard of my dog and whatever you do, you know. And then, um, yeah, kind of just fell in love with the way it made me start to look at the world a little bit differently, you know, kind of just take a step back and look at stuff, you know, properly. Um, so that was back in 2012 and we had an old Canon DSLR sitting in the cupboard that we didn't really use. I didn't know how to use it or anything. So after using the iPhone for a little bit, I, I thought, hey, I might as well try get this proper camera out and have a bit of a go. So got that out and just taught myself how to use it. And yeah, like I said, just fell in love with photography in general and went out and shot a sunrise down uh, North Beach. And after that, I just fell in love with, you know, just being outside, being with the camera and just having that time to kind of switch off from everything else in the world. and you know, just focus in on something so simple. So, yeah. I was working as a tradesman, I was an aircon mechanic, just working in town for a big uh, company and yeah, I'd wake up, go shoot sunrise and then off to work, you know, I'd quickly rush home, throw some breakfast down, throw the clothes on and go off to work and that was it, you know, that was pretty much the routine. It just, you know, the best light is the golden hours so, and I really enjoyed sunrises because we got the ocean here to face east so, I just found that most days of the week I was going out and shooting and then yeah, running off to work and the boys would still be just waking up or whatever and I was already buzzing and you know had two hours to myself down the beach on a cliff or something crazy. So yeah, it's good. When I first got into it, I definitely didn't have aspirations to try and make money off photography or anything like that. Um, because I got on Instagram when it was still in its infancy, it was quite easy to gain a bit of a following on there. So I found that, you know, after maybe using it for about a year um, and being into photography for about 12 months, I just started getting a bit of interest from people with buying photos and even started getting like tourism clients offering to fly me out to their destinations and take photos for them and, you know, essentially put it on my Instagram as a way to show people what these locations are like. So I started getting a few little jobs like that, a few offers and opportunities, and that went on for about, I guess, three years basically of getting these offers, turning down a few of them because I was working full time. And then, yeah, it just got to the point where I just kind of, you know, I had a real fear of trying to live off photography and I didn't think it was possible and I didn't want to entertain the thought. And then all of a sudden just something changed in my head. I just thought, no, nah, life's too short. Oh, maybe it is worth having a go. So I just, you know, kind of weighed up the options and had a little bit of work coming in from it. So I thought, well, if it's coming in without trying, what if I commit some time to actually trying to live off it? And yeah, that's what I done. Took this uh, plunge in at the start of the 2015. So it's been just over 12 months now. So it's been a crazy, crazy year. <laughs> I think one of the first big jobs I got was going to Canada um, right up north to photograph the Northern Lights in Yellowknife. It was like minus 42 degrees you know, at night, minus 25 in the day, it was absolutely insane. So that was one of the more memorable ones. Um, I've been all over Australia, like the Whit Sundays three times, I go back there in a few months, um, down to Victoria. I've been to New Zealand about eight times in the last year or so. Um, yeah, just everywhere. So many places like outback Queensland, outback New South Wales, just locations that, you know, I'd love, I've always wanted to go to and now I've just got the opportunity to do it and get paid for it. I'm just really, you know, so grateful and humbled by it all. Um, even with Subway, I've done a job with Subway where I've done seven sunrises in seven days in seven different states. So I was shooting a sunrise each day in a new location so that saw me go to you know Queensland, uh, North Island of New Zealand, South Island, Tasmania, Victoria all within a week so it's been yeah Kangaroo Island in South Australia. So I don't enter many photography competitions but I just saw one pop up online for um, a celebration of America's Wilderness Act which is the act that was put in to protect the national parks. Um, 
and I had a few shots from a trip. In, I went to America in 2013, so I was still quite new to photography, but had some shots from Yosemite. So I just happened to enter one of those in this comp and I ended up getting an honorable mention and they put the uh, print in the Smithsonian Museum where it stayed in there as part of the exhibition for about a year or so, which was, um, yeah, real buzz. And then I was contacted by Apple as well um, for a separate Yosemite photo and they licensed that, which is now one of the wallpapers on the um, operating systems for the Mac, which, yeah, is pretty pretty unbelievable. Can't fathom that. It's still a bit of a buzz every time I see someone using it on the on the computer or whatever. But yeah, so it's been, yeah, it's crazy. It's just the power of social media and the internet, you know, just if you put your work out there and, you know, just are passionate about what you do, people can end up discovering it, you know. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. You know, when I first got into Instagram, or photography, um, you know, I was kind of going through depression at the time and it was just in a really bad place, just a dark place and photography just came in at that, that crossroads where I was really just looking for something, you know. Um, and it just, you know, I think that's why I fell in love with it so much. So for me, the more I got into photography and, you know, sharing my work, it was a bit of an outlet um, creatively, um, spiritually, mentally. So I think naturally my photos and even what I was writing with my photos kind of, you know, it all just tied into the battle that I was going through and, you know, the thoughts that I had at the time. Um, and it's been a few years now and that was a slow process. That was like two, three years almost really um, of just slowly coming out of that. And now, you know, with my work, it's, it's different now because it's a job, but I'm still, you know, when I shoot and I'm always just trying to take a step back and just, you know, at the end of the day, it's kind of easy it's easy to photograph what you see, but it's hard to capture what you feel. So for me, I'm trying to do that. That's my goal. You know, I can easily just point a camera there and shoot a landscape, but I want people to know my emotions and, you know, what went into getting that moment in time. So that's the biggest challenge, but it's probably the most rewarding thing. And yeah, something I'm consciously trying to do as much as possible if I can. Yeah, yeah I grew up in Wollongong. Yeah, I was born in Wollongong Hospital back in 87. And uh, we actually lived on Cliff Road um, for a few years there, right on the water, but I don't remember, so I was so young. And then, yeah, done it most of my childhood down in Lake Illawarra, but then moved back up here once I got married. So, um, yeah, it's just home now. I live in Mount Kira, pretty close to the mountains. So I love mountains. We don't have many in Australia, but the ones we do have, I really like. So, yeah, I like having the mountains right there and we've got the ocean like five minutes away. So I really think this is probably one of the best parts of Australia. Number one advice would probably just be, don't think about doing it as a career, don't think about social media, just do it for the fun of it and because you enjoy it. Um, for me, when I got into it, I didn't, you know, Instagram was unheard of, I didn't have Facebook at the time, so there was no um, motives. I didn't think, yeah, this is gonna be my new career. I just got into it because it, it just was fun. I just fell into it. And I think that helped me grow as a photographer in a short amount of time because all I cared about was just taking better photos and having fun. Now I see a lot of people, because um, social media has become what it is, a lot of people have motives, you know, and they're shooting specifically to get attention or to try get work. So my advice would just be just take photos for you, shoot what you want to um, see, what you enjoy, and don't worry about, you know, the, um, the other side of it, business side of it at all, just switch off, just have fun. And if it's meant to be, your work will definitely get noticed one way or another. The main part of my business, besides shooting for tourism and brands and stuff like that, probably the main thing I do is photography workshops. So I, um, I started off slow um, about a year ago, just doing one-on-one -on -one workshops, just showing people how to use their camera. And now I host group workshops around the world. So places like New Zealand and Iceland, um, Canada, places like that around Australia and I just take groups of four to six and yeah we just go shoot for a week or five days or whatever it is and just teach people everything that I know about photography like I said I'm just an open book and you know I'm grateful people want to learn from me and you know learn from my experiences and things like that so that's probably one of the main things I do and I find it incredibly rewarding as well just being able to help people with their photography you know when I was learning I'm self-taught I just remember there was like a wealth of information online and sometimes it was just too much and it was a bit overwhelming 
So I really think it's great to be able to help people now who might be hitting a plateau or, you know, just caught up with a few problems and just help them take their photography to the next step. So yeah, that's probably the main thing I do and it's I love it. It's so grateful to be able to do that and just have a good time with people and get outside and appreciate nature. So yeah, it's good. In The Loop thanks our media partners, Illawarra Mercury and I-98. In The Loop is made possible by Wollongong Central, discover the city. Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. University of Wollongong, destination Wollongong. Visit wollongong.com.au. Internetrix, explorers of all things web and digital. People Care, health cover full of mwah. Illawarra Credit Union, experience a new way of banking.